हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक अगेन माई सेल्फ अदिल हुसैन शेख असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑटोमोबाइल डिपार्टमेंट एल जी आई टी एंड वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग वी आर डी एस सिस्टम एज वेल एज मैनेजमेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम एज वेल एज वी कैन से दैट रेकॉर्ड ऑफ द गुड्स ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम लीड टाइम पीक एंड पैक टाइम सो लेट एस डिस्कस फर्दर इन पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मैनेजमेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम इन पैसेंजर्स एज वेल एज गुड्स ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम second thing is that storage and transportation of petroleum products regarding transportation system only and advanced techniques in traffic management system so these are the basic three topics of today's lecture so let us discuss one by one and most important thing is that traffic navigations and global positioning system so these are the topics of the today's lectures and now now we are going to discuss all the topics one by one so first topic is that management information systems in passengers and goods transportation operation management information system sometimes directly ask you in gtu exam like mis management information systems okay so don't confuse at that time it is management information system so management information system is an important tool for the management used to access the efficiencies wastage profitable and unprofitable activities means it directly conclude all profitable wasted and unprofitable activities of the transportation system second thing is that any transit agency which provide passenger service must concentrate on the following objectives to enhance performance of using mis so which are the main concerns and which are the objectives of the transportation system so let us discuss one by one set objective of the transit management means schedule crew requirement passenger requirements and infrastructure second thing is that infrastructure to meet exact demand right means like when you have all kind of facility of transportation system but you don't have highways so at that time what what will you do right so main thing is that infrastructure to meet exact demand of the transportation system third one is the planning execution and control of the transportation system we have to plan proper trips for the system their execution on time and their control okay without control you cannot run your system very smoothly and fourth one is the commitment by transport officers and proper utilization of the resources right so you have to utilize your all resource of transportation systems right so you can get maximum resource maximum profit and maximum revenue from the system right so let us discuss further management information system so which, which is the basic fundamental work of management information system see you can see in figure structure of the mis right so structure of the mis directly connect with the input and output of the system like right? so we can use software we can use hardware then medium of messages i mean we can say that we can use so much facilities of information system so there are lots of database regarding passenger amenities regarding crew amenities as well as highway facilities so with the help of this structure of mis we can run our transportation system very smoothly and efficiently and second thing is that mis connect three main aspect right the first one is the people information and technology right so this is the main three aspect this three aspect directly connect with the mis system so mis system provides basic data to the transportation systems and get maximum sources of people's informations and technology so this is the basic fundamental require basic fundamentals of mis systems and we can also say that mis connect directly people information and technology means people information of people with technology so we can say that mis directly connected technology with people okay in very next slide we are going to discuss about vehicle schedule booking and reservation as i had already i had already discussed in our previous lecture arrival and departure of the vehicles second thing is ticket booking system right and mainly there are two types of booking system first one is the passenger booking and second second thing is the goods and freight booking system 
and I had give you already one best idea regarding goods and fare booking system. Nowadays, Indian Railways runs their trains on special dedicated freight corridor through central to eastern and central to western. So, in transportation system, there are lots of opportunity of recruitment upcoming nowadays have arrived, right? And mainly there are two types of booking systems. First one is offline system and second is online system. Online systems nowadays is most popular and offline systems is conventional matter. Still, nowadays offline systems is also in use. Okay. Now, we are going to discuss about some basic fundamentals of storage and transportation of petroleum product. See, every country economy runs on petroleum products. Okay. And I and you also know about that without petroleum products, you cannot run your transportation system very smoothly. So, which is the basic criteria of transportation system to deliver this crude oil from to customers, right? So, let us discuss first one is the crude production, right? Crude production is particularly site, right? Say at which crude is produced. Second thing is that crude transportation. See, mainly there are two types of crude, crude producing facilities, offshore facilities and onshore facilities. So, transportation deal with direct onshore facilities, right? Because in offshore facilities, you cannot transport your cargo without water transportation system. So, in onshore facilities, you are going to deliver your cargo from crude production side to factory and factory to customers, right? So, this is the main importance of good transportation system in offshore facilities. First one is there is a pipeline facilities and there is a personal sucker roll pump to suction of the crude from the earth and it directly deliver into the tank and tank goes to the refinery to refine the crude oil and crude oil directly deliver to the service providers and service provider directly deliver crude to the customers, right? Third thing is that refining and storage facility of the crudes and fourth one is the delivery and consumer use. Note it down, there is a separate tank for the crude oil to delivery from one place to another place. Without separate tank or without standard tank, you cannot deliver your crude oil from one place to another place. And so this is the basic chart of the crude transportation. So the first one is the crude production on the side. Second thing, crude transportation, right? Crude transportation with special and standard tanks and refining of in particularly, uh, we can say that in re refinery and last one is the delivery to the customer. So, this is the basic idea regarding storage and transportation of the petroleum products. So, let us discuss further regarding it. Advanced techniques in traffic management system. FCON India has emerged as a leading provider of advanced traffic management solution. FCON India is a subsidiary of Starbuck, one of the most popular company in Europe and its net worth is Euro 14.6 billion in 2007. See, FCON directly recruit best engineers from traffic systems in India nowadays, right? So, this is the main advantage of FCON India in our country and their headquarters in Goregaon, Hyderabad, Mumbai. So, lots of try going to be carried out for passenger amenities and smooth trans traffic system from the government side. So, this is the FCON India emerging and we can say that basic provide basic facilities provided by the F, uh, provide by the uh, basic facility provided by the F1 India to the customers right so let us discuss advanced traffic system management so first one is the variable message sign okay we can say that there are lots of signs of on toll tax or highways so we can judge our vehicles compared to the other vehicles because if we can't aware any sign and if we can't aware any messages so we can run our vehicle on and on and at that time there might be a chances of accident or there might be a chances of traffic issues second thing is the video incident detection system this is the best facilities provided by the providers video incident so we can justify our accidents with compared to the third party 
on owners right second third thing is that automatic traffic control system because nowadays traffic control requires so important otherwise there might be a chances of fatal accidents or issues or traffic or chaos or quarreling so, so so much issues are there so automatic traffic control is required nowadays fourth one is the cctv monitoring system so we can justify our task and last one is the emergency calls okay and service providers see emergency calls and you whenever you are going for a drive on uh, whenever you are whenever you are going for drive on expressway at that time you can see every 500 meter or 1 kilometer there is a one emergency number right so at that time you can realize that whenever we have emergency at that time we have to call on particular number right so emergency call and mobile communication is very common nowadays for the traffic management as well as we can say that transportation management system so these are the basic three advanced techniques in traffic management system first one is the variable message time to stop slow down then turning as well as we can say that heavy traffic issues right and variable message sign also indicate pollution index so you can uh, you can say that atmospheric environment is suitable for you or not suitable for you second thing is video video incident detection system uh, will will be helpful in accidental then traffic control uh, dr uh, guide and drive the proper systems of the transportation system cctv and emergency Box. So this is a basic advanced traffic management systems, right? Now we are going to discuss about traffic navigation and global positioning system, right? See, GPS is common nowadays, and we have all kind of GPS facilities in our automobile car as well as automobile truck. So why it is important? Because we can easily navigate our drive. With the help of these GPS systems, and we can reach on time with the help of this GPS system. So, GPS system use data satellite data to calculate accurate accurate position of the earth, and depends upon channel. If 12 channels are there, that means your device is connected with 12 satellites at same times. Mean your device is directly connected with channels, and channels is directly connected with satellite so depend upon channel if your device is connected with one channel so your device is connected with only one satellite at that time and microprocessor control as well as we we can say that there are lots of microprocessing processes using in traffic navigation system so this is the best advantage of the traffic uh, gps systems nowadays Okay, so in this particular topic, in this particular lecture, we are we had a discussion regarding management information system as well as FCON India. Uh, I can give you one best example of the traffic management system nowadays in our Ahmedabad city. You can see holdings of uh, API uh, pollution index, right? As well as we can say that uh, heavy traffic, uh, then smooth traffic and medium traffic. Time. So this is a because of this uh, like th this kind of service provider. So you can build your future in this kind of service providers also. And there are lots of accidental agencies nowadays in our India. So they can conclude an accidental data and how we can eliminate this kind of accidents nowadays. So they can also work on that. So I can say that this is the best time to jump in automobile automobile industries with different sectors like uh, traffic segments and accident segments and also logistic segments are there okay so till date stay home stay safe and thank you